Hi, welcome to the video tutorial Spring Boot a Time Lift from Handling with me, I'm Amin from CodeJava.net. To resist a video tutorial, you will learn to develop a Spring Boot application that uh, presents a web form to capture information from the user and handle form submission. Uh, we will be using Spring Boot at, as it simplifies the web uh, development and time lift as it uh, keeps HTML templates still look like HTML when, when mixed with code and time leaf is very well integrated uh, with Spring MVC so I will walk you through the process of uh, developing a Spring Boot application that uh, presents the following form uh, to the user you see, you will learn uh, how to use time leaf and uh, Spring uh, Framework to code this form with uh, almost of uh, standard HTML fields. You see, like text box, input, password, password field, uh, select box or drop down list, uh, check box, radio buttons and uh, text area and uh, also you will learn how to handle form submission uh, after the user enters the information uh, in the form and click the submit button we will be uh, uh, showing the result page that uh, displays uh, the details uh, of the User, as you can see here, registration succeeded. So we need to have Java Development Kit JDK and Spring to Squid IDE installed on a computer to follow this uh, tutorial. And here are the technologies uh, used in this uh, tutorial uh, Maven for building the project, Spring Boot. Which uh, Spring MVC uh, for the web layer, time lift for the view layer, and uh, we will be using uh, Spring uh, Developer Tools for automatic restart and automatic uh, browser refresh. And here are the step which we need to follow. First, we we create a Spring Starter project in uh, Spring uh, uh, Tools Squid IDE. And then we code the home page, create the model class, and then we code Spring MVC controller class, and we code the registration form using time leaf, HTML, and CSS. And finally, we code the result page that uh, shows uh, the information uh, of the form. This is uh, Spring to Squid IDE. And now let's uh, create the project file, new Spring Starter project. Here we enter the name of the project is Spring Boot Time Leaf Form. Project type is Maven Java version 8. Packaging uh, Ja and which of a group ID net dot code Java was in one point. Oh, description string boot time leaf. Okay, so that's the information for the spring starter project. Next, and here you see. It uh, chooses the default uh, Spring Boot version uh, 2.2.5, and we choose the dependency Spring Web and the Spring Boot Developer Tools and uh, Template Engines. We choose Time Leaf here. Okay, so we choose uh, three 
dependencies for the project uh, Spring Web, TimeLeaf, and Spring Boot developer tools. Next, uh, finish. And we got uh, the project uh, being created here. Just a moment. Okay, so we got our Spring Boot project uh, created here, and you can see this is the directory structure of the project. Open the Maven's view file for XML here. And uh, as you can see, the dependencies for Spring Boot Starter Time Leaf, Spring Boot Starter Web, and Spring Boot Developer Tools. Mm, we don't uh, use any test, so delete the dependency for uh, test here. Yeah. Save and uh, we delete the test code here. Delete this package. Delete. Okay. And you can see we have the main class for our Spring Boot application here, generated by the Spring Initialize tool here. Okay. And uh, for timelift, we we uh, boot uh, our template files under this directory. Template. Now we can uh, start uh, run our Spring Boot project. You can see the boot dashboard here. That. Uh, allows us to manage uh, Spring Boot application. Right click here, start. And you see the Spring Boot logo appears in the console. And you can see and you can see the error message uh, you see here. Cannot find template location class path templates here because we don't have any template uh, files yet. And you can see uh, the information live reload server is running on port uh, 35729. And to get started on port 8080 with uh, context path empty here. Okay. Now we can access our Spring Boot application in a Chrome browser here. So I type the default uh, URL of the Spring Boot application uh, localhost on ATAT. And we got the white label error page uh, or 404 error because. Uh, Spring doesn't find any template files, so we need to uh, create the default home page here. Right click new uh, other and type HTML here, HTML file next. And enter the name is index dot html index next finish here we go and we can refresh our browser you see yeah. It uh, doesn't uh, get updated because the uh, live reload uh, 
extension is not enabled so click this icon to enable the live reload extension so uh, the browser can automatically refresh uh, whenever uh, we make uh, changes uh, for the code in the project so click this icon okay so it see you see live reload is connected now let me show you you uh, can watch uh, other videos uh, to see how to set up a live reload in the screen to suite let me show you now I update the title of the page here which is uh, spring boot time leaf for tape the file I think we need to restart our application. Restart. Okay. We refresh the browser. You can see the home page is empty, but you can see the title Spring Boot Timely Form. No. Let's update the code for the home page. We have a div section here, a line center, and we have the heading one spring wood time leaf for okay. Save. And you can see in the browser it uh, automatically refreshes to reflect the uh, change I made to the template code. A very convenient feature of Spring Boot uh, Dev Tools. Now in this home page we have a high blink. The high bling here. I click here to register. Save. You can see in the browser. Click here to register. Very convenient feature. I don't have to hit refresh to refresh the browser. It automatically. Uh, reloads the changes in the browser. Now I update the hybrid here to um, uh, forward slash register and I click save and you see on the right it, in the browser it automatically updates and I can click hybrid here. You see. So far, we have created the project and code as your home page. Now, let's create the model class uh, to represent the uh, information in the form here full name, email, password, but a profession now with gender and not. So, we create a new Java class here. new class and the class name is user finish and we you can see uh, with uh, spring boot uh, dev tools it uh, automatically restart the application whenever uh, i make changes to the code this uh, start is very quick so I don't have to stop and restart 
the application yeah in the model class user we specify the instant fields name email password and gender not and we have a boolean type for the status married or not and date type for uh, birthday birthday and the string for profession of the user okay and then read the letter and set the methods Just generate letters and setters here. And here we select all the fields to be generated letters and setters. Generate. Here we go. Very quick. And now let's code a Spring MVC controller. Uh, class to handle request uh, to the application. First, uh, for the high blink, uh, click here to rest. You see, we got uh, 404 error because uh, uh, we haven't created any handler method in the controller layer yet. So now let's create a controller class. Spring MVC controller class class name of class is uh, main controller finish and for Spring MVC controller we use a uh, annotation controller and the first handler method is to uh, uh, display to show the form, the user registration form. So we use a red uh, mapping annotation uh, that handles uh, the request to this ELF forward slash rest. Uh, this method uh, returns the uh, view name, so it is the region type is G. So form. We'll return the view name template file name rest underscore form. So in the template directory, we need to create a, a template file with the name rest underscore form here. And we can copy and paste the index.html file here. Change the file name to rest the underscore form. Okay. And open it. Here we are when we uh, update the heading of the form is uh, user registration. And the title of the page is user registration. Okay, save and now we can test in browser. You can see uh, it automatically uh, refreshes as a browser, so I don't have to uh, press refresh button. You see, user registration. Very convenient feature of Spring uh, Boot App Tools. You can see if I uh, update the heading here, and it will automatically reflect the change in the browser here. Very good, right?
let's understand uh, how to create a form using a time lift template and handle form submission in a spring boot spring mvc you see we already have the model class that represents information on the form and uh, we use a time lift template like this using a normal html tags with a time lift uh, attribute you can see here for example uh, the th colon action specify the action of the form here yeah. and th colon object uh, specify the name of the model object so this name should match uh, the name in the uh, controller here in the controller we have the handler method that uh, handles form submission and uh, we need to use the model attribute annotation and specify the name of the model so the name user here must match the name of user name user here okay so that's pretty simple to code uh, form with uh, time leaf template and spring mvc and handle form submission with spring mvc and uh, let's uh, update uh, user registration form okay uh, we need to specify the xml namespace uh, to use the th dh prefix for time leaf http hmm. time leaf dot org yeah, let me uh, rearrange the window so you can see the code and uh, the browser at the same time Okay. Now, uh, for the form tag, we use a form HTML form tag as normal. Uh, but for the action HTTP, we need to specify this does character, and we use the time leaf uh, action HTTP instead action equal. URL is wrapped inside at side and forward register and th object specify name of the model or object name yeah so we are user And the method is eighty three post. Okay. And we have the label label for the full name of the user full name and the text field input type equal text and for the value of the field we need to use a th field that points to a few name of the model object which is syntax asterisk 
name. This is a property name of the user object. Uh, as you can see, user object here. Read name, email, password, and uh, no profession, and so on. Okay, save. And you see, if you want error, because in the model, uh, we don't have any uh, object with the name user. So in the handler method here, we need to create a new user object and add it to the model. User, user equal new user. To use a model, we can specify the model here in the method and parameter and add attribute name user value is a user object user. Okay, save and you see Spring Boot automatically restart the application and in the browser it automatically refreshes and you can see the first few full name here now we add the submit button to the form using the button HTML tag button type equal submit and the caption is LST. Okay, save. And you see the button uh, appears here very quick. We need to have a black line here. Okay, you see. Click uh, the list button. And we got error for five because it uh, sends. Uh, HTTP POST request to this URL but uh, we don't have any handler for this uh, POST request so we got a request method POST not supported so in the controller layer we need to have the handler method to handle a form submission request with the request method uh, POST here and we need to use a model attribute annotation to map with the model object name in the form here. Okay. Now in the controller, in the controller main controller class here. So we use a post mapping annotation to. Uh, handle or request to for HTTP post register here yeah. mm, public chain submit form and in this method we return the uh, view name of the result page that displays the details of the user which is the rest the underscore success and to read the read the data on the form where the values are fused on the form uh, in uh, spring boot spring abc we need to use a annotation model attribute here and specify the name of the model object and uh, type is user and variable name is user okay so that's very simple to handle form submission with uh, spring boot spring mvc and inside this uh, method we simply print the uh, details of the user object so we call this out system dot out dot print line user and in the user class, we generate the two string method that uh, returns the full details of the user. Mm. 
source then red uh, to string here we choose all the fields uh, to be included in the return string then red okay you see name email password note progression and so on And now let's uh, save all changes. And you see the browser automatically uh, uh, refresh is uh, submit the form. And now we got another error, which is HTTP five five oh oh internal server error because uh, we. Don't have any template with the name rest underscore success. And let's look at the console view and you will see. Yeah, you see, it uh, prints the details of the user here. Name is no, email no, because we didn't spec specify. Any values for the form fields? Go back here. Okay, now let's uh, create uh, the next template file to display the details of the user after the form submission. So we uh, copy, paste. Change name, change the name to rest underscore success. And open it. Yeah, we change the title of the this best is registration success. The heading of the best is registration succeeded. And in this best we use a span tag to display the information of the user. Here we use EL expression user dot name. Okay, save. And now let's test our form. User registration name is Kuma and click register. Uh, we need to have um, Uh, directive for ZSP in the result page, so we so it we display. Uh, sorry, uh, in this uh, result page, we also need to use uh, um, template attribute to display the value uh, of uh, fields of uh, model object. So here. Um, we need to use a th text equal user dot name. Okay, and you see it automatically refreshes full name Kuma. So that's basically how to code a web form and handle form submission with Spring Boot and uh, Time leaf, you see in the form here and in the controller class here. This handle method to solve the form and this handle method to handle form submission. And in the control view, you can see it prints the name of the user, user named Kuma here. Now let's uh, update the 
raster form template to have all the fields as per uh, this design uh, email password but a uh, profession married render and not yeah go to the home best click here to rest the machine now let's update the form Now the second uh, field is for email. Email. The field name is uh, email. Save and you will see the browser automatically <coughs> update the changes. <coughs> <coughs> But the form uh, doesn't look uh, good, so we need to use <coughs> CSS, some CSS style to make the form look uh, better. So here in the head section of the page, we specify style section, and for the label, we use the uh, Attribute display in line block and for specify the width is about 200 pixel. Save and you can see it is uh, updated in the browser. And uh, Margin is about five pixels, and text alignment is on the left. Save, and we see the form uh, not updated automatically. Very nice, right? Okay. Uh, now I maximize. Uh, code editor and then from now I will uh, switch to between the windows okay uh, enter the full name for example Ravi Kuma email Ravi Kuma click raster and on this result page, we also need to uh, display all the values of the fields. Where's the success here? Here, full name. Full name and then uh, email. Email is a dot email email save and you see it uh, update here yeah, name and email and now we need to use some css I yeah style for the span element in display in my block uh, width is about 200 pixel and text alignment is on the left save and switch to the browser and you see you see it automatically uh, Update the changes from the email here. Yeah. Now go back to the form. 
when we uh, coat uh, or another fuse or other fuse. Now it is a uh, password field. Password input type equal password. And the field name is password. Okay. And you see in the browser. And we need to uh, format the button mm, button mm, margin is about 10 pixel and uh, padding is about 10 pixel save and switch to browser and you see it uh, updates the button rest uh, here now in the uh, registration uh, success page displays a password of the user password user dot password here Now let's test the form. Full name uh, Kuma email Ravi Kuma password one two three four five six and click register and you see now it is a result paste it uh, pins the password here very good right And now let's code for the birthday field and then the profession select box and drop down list. Birthday field is also a text input text, so we just copy. Birthday. Input type text field name is uh, birthday, and here we have additional information for the date format is for number of year, two number of month, and two numbers of day. Okay. Uh, we need to go back to the home page to the form here we have the birthday here and birthday value in the result page birthday user dot birthday and let's test the form and you can see Ravi Kuma email Ravi Kuma password birthday nineteen eighty uh oh one oh one that's the NFC correct right Now for the profession list that uh, shows a list of options using a HTML select tag. So let me show you how to do, do it in uh, time leaf. So we have a label here, profession. <coughs> And we use a HTML select tag 
as a uh, normal and specify the timely attribute field point to the field name of the model object mm. profession and in the controller class in the handler method that shows the form here and we create a new object that uh, contains a list of um, values for profession list uh, string profession list equal array has a list and we uh, specify some fixed values for example developer designer and uh, architect and we add this profession list to the model model and attribute Copy the name profession list Okay <coughs> And in the form we use a HTML option tag as normal for a select drop down list but uh, we use some uh, time lift attributes uh, to th h to i thread through each element in a collection like this p in a collection list uh, profession for each item in the collection the item name is p and then we use a uh, th value to display the value of p and ts text ts text text to display the text also the value of the variable p in this h expression here okay Save and you can see profession is empty. Well, let me see. Sheet name should be a profession list. Profession list. Save and you see in the form it uh, displays. Profession list with three options developer, designer, and architect. We need to have a break line here. And now for the checkbox, uh, Maria's status, married or not. So we use. Uh, label here label married and we use it put time equal checkbox as a normal HTML checkbox checkbox DS field is uh, married married And you see the checkbox here. You see my read. And let's uh, update the CSS to format the form for the checkbox. And uh, drop down list select. 
here we specify uh, some rules for the input mm, text input time equal text and input type equal password and select mm, display inline block and width is about 200 pixels and uh, input type equals checkbox we specify the margin uh, right margin margin right is about 190 pixels save and you see the form looks uh, better right And next is uh, we got the form field for radio buttons for the gender, male or female, and the text area for the extra note. Okay, and here is. Uh, For gender, uh, gender. Here we use uh, input tie equal radio or radio button. Ts ts view equal asterisk. Field name is uh, gender. And value for this radio option is um, male. Male. And the second radio option is for female. The few name is the same gender. And you can see the form updated male, female here. Break line and the last view of the form is for extra note, additional note for the user. Label note and we use a text area of HTML as number. Number of row is 5, number of column is 25, and TS view point to a view in the model object is the note. That's it. And you can see it is updated there. Text area. And we have need to have a break line here. And also we okay, so that's it. You see the form looks very nice, right? With different uh, Kinds of uh, HTML fields, text fields, text input, password, uh, select drop down list, and checkbox, radio button, and uh, text area. And now let's update the result based, uh, which got this let's display after the user clicks the rest of the button here. The rest the success here. Now we print the value for birthday and uh, profession. <coughs> profession. Married or not? Married 
gender and not gender gender and not so we have total eight views not one two three four five six seven eight okay and let's test the form now enter full information now uh, main email now coach uh, net password one two three four five six seven eight nine ten but net birthday uh, uh, 18 uh, sorry 19 84 04 April is a tell professor developer Maori yes gender male and not I love Java programming cool and click register and you see it displays in all the details full name email password birthday profession Maori gender not exactly what I type in the form and in the console view you can see it prints the detail of the user object here name email password gender not profession Maori birthday so that you have learned how to develop a Spring Boot application and that uh, shows a web form to the user using timeleaf template and then you also learn how to handle the form submission and uh, read the form later with uh, Spring MVC and let me uh, review so, so in the model class we need to have a in the model layer we need to have a model class to represent the information in the form and in the form we use a normal HTML tags with a uh, time leaf attribute uh, to uh, associate uh, the form fields with uh, in, uh, fields in the model object and in the controller layer uh, we need to use a, a model uh, attribute annotation uh, to map uh, with uh, the model object in the form here yeah? and then uh, it we read the form data read the values of the fields on the form automatically to this uh, user object thank you for watching and please subscribe to my Java programming channel I am Namamin from code Java.net